there's always an opportunity to be a better us for this world. So claim it! It's time to develop me for we. Happy morning, everyone! I'm Steph Saison, your host. Here's another line I invite all of us to live out. Make the time to take the time. Let's break down the statement so we can better understand it. What does it mean to make time? Honestly, I hate it when people say, Okay, okay, I'll find time to do that. Because you know that you will never find the time. You'll forget you're busy or you're too tired. Saying you'll find the time in an already packed schedule is impossible. You need to intentionally make time. We each only have 24 hours in a day, and we have to be intentional with where each hour goes. So okay, okay, picture this. 1% of your day is 15 minutes. So think of that K-drama you're currently binging on. Is that really where you want 30% of your week to go? Lol no hate, I've been guilty of this, but if having this habit is becoming a trend, we'll really never find the time to do other things. So don't just give your leftover time for personal development. Be intentional to grow. If you've ever wondered why you feel so stuck, you're plateauing or even falling backwards, maybe you can ask yourself as well where all your time and resources go. Now the other half of the statement, take the time. So what does it mean to take the time? I searched up this idiom. It means to make an effort to do something to attempt to do something slowly and carefully. Another thing I'm guilty of doing is, yes, I make time to read books and articles, reflect how my day went, and even observe and listen to my surroundings. But I do it in a super duper rush manner. Sometimes I ask myself if, hmm, did I really give 1% of my day? Because it doesn't seem like it. But yeah, You're not gonna be more sensitive to everything and everyone around you by just speeding these kinds of things through. And I'm realizing that more and more now as I really make the time to take the time. Because developing yourself is a process. It will really take time because we're all far, far, far from perfect. And that gap means that we always have opportunities to learn and grow. But let us not take this as bad news that, okay, alright, okay, we all suck. But rather, yes, good news, because we can always improve where we are and who we are now. So say bye-bye to those destructive and self-demeaning thoughts. Now, let's place everything we've discussed into a practical takeaway through an exercise. Yay, activity! Okay, so first step, list down your top 5 priorities by order. You can place family time, God, work, social life, personal growth, self-care, anything you want. Just place them all, rank them in 1 to 5. Alright? Second, look for a usual week in your calendar. Or if your schedule is really sporadic, a typical month. And break down your activities into hours and divide them by the total number of hours. So if it's a week, let's say 168. Alright, to give an example, I survey my typical week and see that I read books 2 hours every Sunday, Monday, and Thursday. So that would be 6 over 168 equals to 0.0357. Let's estimate that 4% of the week. Okay, so try to do that for every other activity that you have for your schedule. Now third, List the top 5 time consumers based on those computations that you just did in the second step. And lastly, put those two top 5 lists from the first and the third step side by side and compare. Do they match up? Most of the time, I'd hear a no. This is a great exercise to not make us feel bad, but make us self-aware. As I always say, change starts from self-awareness. We aren't going to identify the need to improve if we never knew we had to. I like doing this every now and then, especially when I sense that I'm getting kind of off. Usually it's because something from my priorities must have been overtaken due to transitioning to a particular season of my life. Let us challenge and encourage you to ask yourself if your priorities are really your priorities. It's ironic how 
what you claim as your priorities are the first things bumped off and adjusted when something needs to be tweaked. If you're currently driving or in the shower or rocking at the gym and all, make sure to make the time to take the time to do this once you're settled at home or in the office. Again, we have to be intentional with our personal development. It's not easy, but needed. Ask yourself these questions and try to answer after you've done the activity and exercise that I walked you through a while ago. Just two questions. The first one is, have I been giving my personal development left over time? What percentage of my time do I aim to give? Second, seeing my list, am I now going to adjust my time accordingly to my priorities? Or be honest with myself that these priorities are just currently far-flung ideals. I pray that you all take the time to think through your answers to these critical questions. Don't forget that we all need to make the time to take the time. See you guys in a few days for the next episode. Happy morning!